good morning friends we'll start uh, section of division 1 UG 20 design temperature maximum except as required in UW 2 D 3 the maximum temperature used in design shall not shall be not less than mean metal temperature to the thickness except under operating conditions for the part considered if necessary the metal temperature shall be determined by computation or by measurement from the equipment in service under equivalent operating conditions minimum the minimum metal temperature used in design shall be lowest expected service except when lower temperature are permitted by the rules of division UG16, UCS66, UCS A3. Minimum mean metal temperature shall be determined by the principle described in A above. Consideration shall include the lowest operating temperature, operational offsets, auto refrigeration, atmospheric temperature, and any other source of cooling except the permitted. If permitted temperature and any other sources cooling except as permitted in F3 below for vessel meeting the requirements of F below the MDMT mark on the template shall correspond to coincident pressure equal to MAWP and there are multiple MAWPs the largest value shall be used to establish the MDMT mark on the nameplate, additional MDM MDMTs corresponding with other MAWPs may also be marked on the nameplate. The design of zones with different metal temperatures may be based on their determined temperatures. Suggested methods for obtaining the operating temperatures of vessel walls in service are given the non-mandatory appendix C. Impact testing for UG84 are not mandatory for pressure vessel materials that satisfy all the following. The materials shall be limited to P number 1, group number 1 or 2 and the thickness as defined in UCS66A. See also note 1, figure UCS662 shall not exceed that given in a or B below 13 milli wrap inch for materials listed in curve Eager UCS 66 1 inch 25 mm for material listed in curve B C D of figure UCS 66 the completed vessel shall be hydrostatically tested as per UG 99 B or UG 99 C 27-4 alternatively the completed vessel may be pneumatically tested in accordance tested in accordance with 35-6 then shall not be this material limited to P number one group number one impact testing is not mandatory for this all design temperature is not warmer than 650 degrees for 9. 345 degrees and then or colder than minus 25. 20 degrees, sorry. 20 degrees for 9. Minus 29 degrees centigrade. Occasional operating temperature colder than minus 20 degrees for 9. Minus 29 degrees centigrade are acceptable and due to lower seasonal atmospheric temperature. Thermal or mechanical soft loading are not a controlling design requirement. Cyclical loading is not controlling design requirement. Design pressure. Each element of a pressure vessel shall be designed for at least the most severe condition of coincidence pressure, including coincidence static head in the operating position. The temperature expected to normal operation. This condition, the maximum difference in pressure between the inside and outside vessel or between any two chambers of a combi combination unit shall consider UG 9832CU2A.
UG 23 maximum allowable stress values. The maximum allowable stress values is the maximum unit stress permitted in given material used in a vessel constructed under these rules. The maximum allowable tensile stress values permitted for different materials are given in section 2 part D subpart 1 section 2. Part D is published as two separate publications. One publication contains values only for US customary units. Other contains the value of SI units. The selection of version is used which depend on the set of units selected for construction. USCS 23 carbon and low alloy steels stress values in section 2 part D subpart 1 table 3 for bolting and table 1A for other carbon steels UNF 23-1 through non-ferrous metal stress value in section 2 part D subpart 1 table 3 for bolting and table 1B for other is 1A so this is not required for us this much is enough. If we have to do anything, they will supply. Same as piping, there is nothing much difference. Casting, the quality factors, the casting quality factor is specified below shall be applied to the allowable stress values for cast material given in subsection C except for casting permitted by part UC at a welded joint in a casting. Only the lesser of the casting quality vector or the weld joint efficiency specified in U W12 applies. But not both ND methods and acceptance standards are given in mandatory appendix seven. You see UG25 corrosion, the user is desired designated agent CU2 shall specify corrosion allowance other than those required by the rules of division. This corrosion allowance are not provided. This fact shall be indicated in the data report. No additional thickness need to be provided when previous experience in like service has shown that the corrosion doesn't occur or is only superficial nature. Telltale holes. The telltale holes may be used to provide some positive indication where the thickness has been reduced to a dangerous degree. Telltale holes shall not be used in vessels that are contain lethal substances except that permitted by ULW 76 for vent holes in layered construction. When the telltale holes are provided, they shall have a diameter of 1 16th or 3 16 inch 1.5 to 5 mm and have a depth of not less than 80 percent of the thickness required for the seamless cell of like dimension. These holes shall be provided <coughs> in the opposite surface to that where deterioration is expected. For telltale holes in clad or lined vessels. Openings sub for drain vessel subjected to corrosion shall be supplied with suitable drain openings at the lower end point practicable in the vessel. The pipe may be used extending inwards from any other location to within one fourth inch six mm of the lowest point. Linings corrosion resistance or abrasion resistance linings whether or not attached to the wall of vessel shall not be considered as contri contributing to the strength of the wall except if permitted part of UCL. It's in non mandatory appendix F. Thickness of the cells under internal pressure. The minimum required thickness of the cells under internal pressure shall not be less than that computed by the following 
formulas except permitted by mandatory appendix 1 or mandatory appendix 30 to the symbol defined below are used in formulas of the paragraph in between we will see another thing for small time so use 25 is the telltale hole if there is a crack Sometimes they make uh, the total hole longitudinal crack to restrict the movement of the crack. Both crack ends done by drill, the drill size should be 1.5 to 0.5 mm, 1 by 16 to 3 by 16, and the depth should not be less than 80% of the required thickness. Limitation the vessel should not contain lethal substance. Drain plugs shall be placed on lowest vessel part if not due to the impractical can placed within one fourth inch six mm from the lowest point. The code using the evaluate cell thickness or pressure by internal dial. Circumferential stress longitudinal joints PR. T equal to PR divided by C minus 0.6P or P equal to SCT divided by R plus 0.6T. Longitudinal stress circumferential joints. T equal to PR divided by 2SC plus 0.4P or P. 2 ACT R minus 0.40. Then spherical cell T equal to PR divided by 2 AC minus 0.2P or P equal to 2 ACT R plus 0.2. Note use always one in first formula. Only specified other formula. P is the MAWP three digit value PSI. S is material strength five digit value PSI. Use always one unless specified by RT3 spot only. E 0.85 UW12 for welded vessels. T only required thickness, actual thickness. Minus corrosion allowance. Inside R is the inside radius plus corrosion allowance. R plus CA. When find T from this calculation, no. In only thickness required should be after R CA. Actual thickness, corrosion allowance, required thickness. This is the actual thickness. This is the required thickness. And this is corrosion allowance. So these are the different type of heads, but we need to remember the cellipsoidal, perispherical, uh, spherically, this torispherical, hemispherical. Is conical and toriconical. We are not reading for our APA 510. So, when we... knuckle radius is this. This is a knuckle radius. And this is D. And this is L. This is thickness. This is L. This is D. This one is D. And this is D, D. Okay. Let us go for the
the minimum required thickness for cells under internal pressure shall not be less than this. Symbols defined below. Use the joint efficiency for or efficiency of the appropriate joint in cylindrical or spherical cells. Or efficiency of ligaments between the openings, whichever is less. For ligaments between openings, the efficiency calculated by rules given in UG 53. When drill cells, so there is ligaments coming into picture. We'll see after no problem. P, the internal design pressure. R is the inside radius of the cell course under consideration. Maximum allowable stress value is UG23 and stress limitation specified in UG24. T is the minimum required thickness of the cell. C is the cylindrical cell. One is circumferential stress, longitudinal joints, when thickness doesn't exceed one half of the inside radius, P doesn't exceed 0.385 AC. The following formulas shall apply. P equal to PR divided by C minus 0.6 P. P equal to ICT divided by R plus 0.60. This is the longitudinal. Longitudinal stress circumferential joints when thickness doesn't exceed one half of the inside radius and doesn't exceed 1.25 SC. Here divided by 2 SC plus 0.4 P. This, but this is the using, we are using only this. If they will tell anything else, then they will tell inside this, inside the question, spherical cell. When the thickness of the cell of a whole is spherical vessel doesn't exceed 0.356R or P doesn't exceed 0.665AC, the following formulas shall apply. P equal to PR divided by 2AC minus 0.2P. P equal to a CT R plus 0.2P. Thickness of cells and tubes under external pressure, UG28. Vector determined from applicable material chart table, section 2, part D, subpart 3. Design metal temperature, UG20C, outside diameter of the cylindrical cell course or tube. Modulus of elasticity material or design temperature, total length in length. A tube between the tube seat. E is the num e is the external design pressure. E calculated value of maximum allowable external working pressure for the assumed value T. Note in F below. R0 the outside radius of spherical cell. T is the minimum required thickness of cylindrical cell or tube, the spherical cell or spherical cell in the name. T is the nominal thickness of the cylinder cell or tube in the name. Cylindrical cell and tubes. The required minimum thickness of a cylinder cell or tube under external pressure either seamless or with the longitudinal butt joints are determined by the following procedure. Cylinder cell in dy2 values greater than 10. Step 1. Assume a value of T and determine the ratio L by D and D by T. D outside divided by T L by D outside. So enter the section to part D sub, sub part 3 figure G at value L by D0. Determine in step 1 for values of L by D0 greater than 550. Enter the chart at a value of L by D0 
equal to 50 for values of LBI D0 less than 0 0.05. Enter the chart at values L by D0 0 0.05. Step 3, move horizontally to the line. Step 4, using the value of a calculated. In step 3, enter the applicable material chart in section 2 part D sub part 3 for material under cons consideration. Move vertically to the intersection with the materials temperature line for the design temperature is CUG20. Interpolation may be made between the lines of intermediate temperatures. If tubular values in section 2 part D sub part 3 are used, linear interpolation or any other rotational <coughs> rational interpolation method may be used to determine B value that lies between two adjacent table tabular values of a specific temperature such as such interpolation may also be used to determine a B value at the intermediate temperature that lies between the two sets of tabular values. Then you have to calculate using this value of B, calculate the value of the maximum allowable external working pressure P A using the following equation. 4B divided by 3DO by T. For values of A falling to the left of the applicable material temperature line, the value P A can be calculated using the form following formula. P A equal to 2 A E divided by 3 by, by DO by T. Let us see one calculation so that you can understand. Okay. No share. No. Okay. Let's see this. A fractionating tower, 14 foot ID, 21 foot long, bend line to bend line, and is fitted with fractional fractionating trays. The tower is designed for an external design pressure of 15 psig, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The lower tower is constructed of SA 285 grade C carbon steel yield strength 30,000 psi. The design length is 39 inch between the fractional fractionating trace, trace, which are adding support to the vessel. Does this construction comply with SME section 8 requirements, assuming a designated thickness of half inch? So the ID is 14 foot and long is 21 foot. So there is the formula we see just before. E equal to 4B divided by 3D by T. Let us see how we, what is given to us. L is equal to 39. A equal to 0, 0.0, how it is, we will see, D equal to 169 inch. This one is like, you have 14 into 4, 12, so that is. And that is why this is 169, so 14 foot, there is 14 foot, 
And you are making two inch. That's all. Put for inch. This this inch for put. That is how it is. T is point five L by D. L by D O. Thirty nine. Okay, he is not taking the total length. Uh, he is taking the which length? Thirty nine only. So thirty nine divided by. One sixty nine. So you will get point two three. D O by T. So the fourteen into twelve divided by zero point four is three thirty eight. Yield is thirty thousand. T is seven hundred Fahrenheit. Ye, you have to calculate by the formula. Four B divided by three B by T three D O by T. That is coming thirty one point five five. So how it is coming? So there is a figure G in. Section two, part we see section two. I don't know. Let me see. Is there section two? There is. There is. So these are the tables uh, for. Let us see what we are looking. Subpart three. And when you go for subpart three, you have these figures. Figure G. And from G, you have to find out. And the second one, the first one is this, but. It is coming to one point two. Then let me make small bigger. So L by D D O. Our coming is point two three. Something something here. Point two three. And this one is. D O by T. So our D O by T equal to three hundred and eighty-eight something like this. Three hundred thirty-eight. So if you go for here, three hundred something around three hundred and thirty-eight. It is coming around this zero point zero zero one vector a. 
वेक्टर इज पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन इज कम एंड फ्रॉम दिस वेक्टर ए वी हैव टू गो फॉर एल स्ट्रेंथ लेस देन थर्टी थाउजेंड पावर इज एल स्ट्रेंथ लेस ग्रेटर देन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी थाउजेंड थर्टी थाउजेंड बी एस आई एंड हाइयर देन हियर वट यू हैव टू डू इज यू गो फॉर पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन to the temperature 700 fahrenheit and this is wrong so let us I go for seven hundred. So. This is the right one. So when it is seven hundred, this is eight thousand. You see, vector B is eighty eight thousand. So that is what we are doing. So this is eight thousand. So we put four into eight thousand B four B divided by three B O by T. This is three thirty eight. Then you are getting thirty one point five five psi G. This is the answer. Yes, meets the code requirement. Because design pressure is fifteen psi g, that is what you have to find out. Right like this, or small a. Small a is better. We don't have puzzle.
Okay. So let us go to again. Okay, section eight. Let's finish for this UG. Then UG twenty eight. So that is UG twenty eight. And twenty nine stiffening wings for cylindrical cells under external pressure. Let me go for the okay. This is UG thirty two. Okay. And we go for 32, we'll see. Thirty-two. The form head and section pressure on concave side. The symbol defined below are used in the formulas of the paragraph. The inside diameter of the head skirt or inside length of the major axis of the ellipsoidal head or inside diameter of the conical head at the point under consideration major perpendicular to the longitudinal axis. Di is the inside diameter of conical portion of the toriconical head. So we are not dealing with that much. Measure perpendicular to the axis of the cone. D minus 2 R 1 minus cos alpha. Lowest efficiency of any point in the head for the hemispherical heads. This includes head to cell joint for the welded vessel. Use the efficiency specified in UW12. L is the inside spherical or crown radius. The value of L for ellipsoidal head shall be obtained from UG37. T is the internal design pressure. R is the inside knuckle radius. This is the maximum allowable stress in tension given in table referenced in UG23 except as limited in UG24B below. T is minimum required thickness head after forming mini TS minimum specified thickness of head after forming in MM TS shall be greater than or equal to T. Alpha is one of the included apex angle of the cone at the center line of the head. Ellipsoidal heads with T is S divided by L greater than or equal to 0 0.002. Required thickness of a D side of semi ellipsoidal form in which half of the minor axis inside depth of the head minus the skirt equal to one fourth of the inside diameter of the head skirt that is determined by p equal to pt divided by 2 ac minus 0 0.2 p or p equal to 2 ac t divided by t plus 0 0.2 t Those spherical heads with the p s divided by l equal greater than 0 0.2 
the required thickness of a torus spherical head for the case in which knuckle radius is 6% of the inside crown radius and the inside crown radius equals to outside diameter of the scut shall be determined by T equal to 0 0.885 PL divided by C minus 0 0.1 P. T equal to ACT divided by 0 0.885 L plus 0 0.1 P, 1 T. Note for torus spherical heads, the T S by L less than 0 0.002, the rule of 1 by 4 P shall also be met. 1 by 4 F. Torus spherical heads met. Of materials having a specified minimum tensile strength exceeding 70,000 psi 485 MBA shall be designed using a value of S equal to 20,000 psi MBA. Room temperature and reduced in proportion to the reduction of maximum allowable stress values. The temperature for the material hemispherical head. The thickness of the hemispherical head doesn't exceed 0 0.356. L or P doesn't exceed 0 0.665 AC. The following formulas shall apply. P equal to PL divided by 2SC minus 0 0.2P or P equal to 2SCT divided by L plus 0 0.2P. We will see conical heads if we have to that time. Clinical heads and section. Apex angle alpha not greater than 30 degree shall be determined by PD divided by 2 cos alpha AC minus 0 0.6 P and B equal to ACT cos alpha divided, divided by D plus 1.2 P cos CT cos alpha Dory spherical heads with T by L greater than or equal to 0 0.002 require thickness of torus spherical head for the case Form then pressure convex okay DSS outside diameter at small end of conical section under construction. Let's see if conical is there. Unstead flat heads and covers. C a factor depending on the method of attachment. Eight cell dimension other items are listed in D below dimension less. So these are the acceptable types of unstead flat heads. The minimum required thickness of flat unstead circular heads covered in blind fans shall be calculated by Following formula T equal to D root over C P by S C. So already we calculated yesterday one formula. This
de la zona. <coughs> the flat on state similar circular head. So D is required, D given, E given, <coughs> is given, E given, C point to given. Just calculate T equal to D root over C P divided by S C. So that is one point two one years. E is point nine six two required. And what is corrosion allowance divided by corrosion per year? Into one point two one years. So this is the numerical we solve yesterday. So these are the formulas in the net cell. You can find PD ellipsoidal head PD divided by 2 SC 0.2 P or P equal to 2 SC T divided by D plus 0.2 T. Torisferical head 0.885 PL divided by C minus 0.1 P T equal to when P equal to SCT divided by 0 0.885L plus 0 0.1T. Hemispherical head. P equal to PL divided by 2SC minus 0 0.2P. Or P equal to 2SCT divided by L plus 0 0.2T. Conical head PD divided by 2 cos alpha SC minus 0 0.6 P or P equal to 2 SC T cos alpha divided by D plus 1.2 T cos alpha. Use always sinusoidal head formula only unless specified other head. The actual thickness, there is a required thickness, there is a corrosion allowance. P is the MAWP 3 digit PSI is material strength, 5 digit value PSI. P is used always one unless specified by RT3 spot only E 0.85. Only required thickness, actual thickness, C corrosion allowance minus corrosion allowance. Inside radius plus corrosion allowance, radius. Inside diameter plus two corrosion allowance. When find T from this calculation, the only thickness required should be a trad answer plus C. It is for D only inside diameter plus 2 C. Otherwise, 
if you are is r plus c ellipsoidal head local radius should not below zero point one seven b spherical radius should not below point nine d ninety percent of id for the spherical heads local radius not less than six percent of d nor shall shall not be below three into thickness The acceptable approximation of a 2 is to 1 ellipsoidal head is 1 with local radius of 0.17d and the spherical radius of 0.9d. Okay. The local radius should not be below 0.17D. Spherical radius should not be below. Point 0.9 of D. That is ellipsoidal head. For torispherical head, we'll see. What are the requirements here? Radius not less than 6% of D. No, shall not be below. 3 of thickness. The inside knuckle radius for torus spherical head shall not be less than 6% of outside diameter of the skirt in the head, but no case less than 3 times the head thickness. Okay. The when you are using ODFP cell applicable on the cell and not the head, T equal to. 
Er divided by C plus 0 0.4 P or P equal to C T divided by R O minus 0 0.4 T. The thickness including C actual thickness. No need to add or deduct C A. So for OD, you have to directly take actual thickness, including C. So no need to add a deduct here. If you are working with OD. We also work on this one nozzle. One now is all. Two question for this. UG is thirty seven point one. Let's go for reading there. For section eight. Openings and reinforcement. Opening in pressure vessel. Shape of opening. Opening in cylindrical and conical portion of vessels in the form head shall preferably be circular, elliptical, or a brown. When the long dimension of an elliptical or a brown opening exceeds twice the short distance dimension, short dimension, reinforcement across the short dimension shall be increased as necessary to provide against excessive distortion due to twisting moment. Size of opening, prescribing is zero one zero one. Size of openings, properly reinforced openings in cylindrical or conical cells, not limited at size to accept with the following provisions for design. The rules in UG 36 through UG 43 apply the openings not exceeding the following for vessels 16 inch 1520 mm inside diameter and less one half of the vessel diameter but not exceeds 20 inch 510 mm for vessels over 60 inch 1520 mm inside diameter one third the vessel diameter but not to exceed 40 inch 1020 mm for conical cells the inside cell diameter as used above is the cone diameter at the center of the opening for opening exceeding the limit supplied supplemental rules shall be satisfied in addition to the rules of this paragraph properly reinforced openings in the form of heads and spherical cells are not limited in size Strength and design of finished openings. Opening in cylindrical or conical cells or form heads shall be reinforced to satisfy the requirement of UG 37 except given in 3 below. Opening of flat heads shall be reinforced as required in UG 39. Opening of vessel not subjected to rapid flux. Fluctuation in pressure do not require enforcement other than that inherent to the construction under the following condition. Build it brushed and flu <coughs> fluid connections meet the applicable rules and with a finished opening not larger than three half inch diameter in the vessel cells of header with heads with required minimum thickness of 10 millimeter or less. Two, three by eight inch, 60 mm diameter vessel cell heads over a required minimum thickness of 10 mm, three by eight inch. Threaded, stop, studded or expanded connections in which the hole cut in the cells or heads is not greater than 2, 3 by 8 inch, 60 mm diameter. Uh, 
reinforcement required for opening in cells and form heads. Here is the total cross sectional area of reinforcement required in the plane under consideration. A1 is the area that exists in the vessel well available for reinforcement. Area in excess of thickness of nozzle well available for reinforcement. The available of for reinforcement when the nozzle extends inside the vessel wall. Cross sectional area defined. Material added as reinforcement. If our strength reduction factor not greater than 1.0. If R1 is seen by S V for nozzle wall inserted through the vessel wall. If R2 equal to SN by SV, if R3, if R4, SV by SVH, distance nozzle projected beyond the inner surface of the vessel wall. UG 37.1 non nomenclature and formulas for reinforced opening. So there is an opening D. So you have area DTRF. If there is no opening DTR. Then you have module two TN TR. If A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A41, A plus A43, opening is adequately reinforced. It's less than opening is adequately reinforced, not adequately reinforced. So reinforcing elements must be added and our thickness must be increased. If all areas, the 41, 43 is out. Outer nozzle weld, inward nozzle weld. So everything is added. It should be greater than A. If it is less than A, then reinforcing pad is required. So this is how in this. Let us stop here.